Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used a stamp set Free as a Bird, which is a brand new stamp set at the 2019-2020 catalogue. And we're going to be using this image and we were the best of friends. I'm also going to be using a die, which I've already taped down and ready to cut. I haven't cut it yet. And this is out of my own stash. I'm sure if you go through your stash you'll have similar dies. Or you could just do a square and mask it off. Um, I'm changing the colour and I'm going to use crumb cake. So for this I've used a A4 size card which is 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 folded in half. A piece of Whisper White to sit on top. And I've also got a piece of the designer series from Love What You Do from the last catalogue. But I'm going to use that. And I'm using this piece of paper because the pattern of it reminds me of the print from the birds, from their little feet. So I'm going to use that. And I've also got a piece of white cardstock for the inside. And I've got a piece of spare. Don't need that. And I have also got a strip for the sentiment. So... To get started we need to cut out this thing, this one, so bring up the big shot, let you out, nope wrong way, two buttons and I get it wrong, right, pop this on here, the reason I've taped it down is I don't want the die to come away from the card when I've stamped, uh, cut it out because I want to do a bit of sponging on it So while that's still in place, I will get some crumb cake and my sponge and I'm just going to sponge round the edge. You will see this done in another card. either in the future or you've already seen it and it depends which way I've uploaded them. Because as I said before, when I make cards, I, I film cards, I tend to film four or five at once. Because it takes so long to set up the equipment I don't see a point of just doing one card at a time. Alright, release that from the die and you can see the edge in it's left. That's what I want. Take off the tape. I've used this so much. I think I'll get rid of it now and put it away. As you can see this is a set of three dies. There's this one and there's this one here. This one I think is the actual size of an A4, uh, A6 card, just a little bit bigger. Might do a card in that one day. Hmm, just give myself an idea. But 
that's another day. I've had them dies for years. I couldn't even tell you where they came from. Right. Now we need to stamp the bird. And I take the ink to the bird, to the stamp, because it is quite a long one. And we're going to stamp that in the middle. Like that. going to clean it up. Alright, with our tiny bit of card we're going to stamp the sentiment. Let me see if I got this the right way. Yeah. And we'll just stamp that in there. Nice. And clean that up. And we're also going to stamp a flower. Oh. I don't think that's done well. That's it. So, right, we'll put that to one side. That we need to colour, that we need to colour. And my colour missing. This is a new Rocco Rococo Rose um, blend, and that's what I'm going to colour the flowers in. This colour reminds me of sweet sugar plum. Which I have actually still got cardstock off. I do like sweet sugar plum, I think it's a lovely colour. Right, and I'm just gonna do the middle of this one. And do the folded over bits. Like that. And I shall cut that out by hand. Is there a no there isn't a die to go by. Right, the birds. I've got pineapple punch. No yeah, pineapple punch, which I'm just going to do their bellies with. Bellies. The rest of it. And then with the pale blue, light balmy blue, I'm going to colour in the birds. Oh, Mr. Leaf. I've got a tinge of green in them because where the blue is meeting the uh, pineapple punch it's going green which is fine Right, 
and with the dark balmy blue we just follow the uh, shaded bits on the stamp I said I missed a leaf, I haven't done none of the leaves. Stupid woman. Right, old olive. And we'll get these leaves coloured in. Nothing fancy on these leaves, just doing them all oh, of light. And then the branch, I've got bronze. And uh, crumb cake dark. I just go and where the stamp sets to go. You can see shadows. Like that. And I have missed this feather uh, tail. So there we have it, one lovely little bird sitting in a tree, now we'll just cut this flower out, just follow it all the way around. I was watching a girl cut fussy cut the other day. God, didn't she go quick? And they were perfect. Mine are all all over the place. Another say let your paper do the cutting. No, let your paper do the moving and keep your scissors still. But I still seem to go off. There's my flower, and that will sit on the end of the sentiment. But we need to. Straighten this up a bit. Those are my big scissors. That's better. Cut that end off and flag this end. There we are. And 
bring our card base in and some glue and glue this all down I've still got loads of this paper can't believe how much I've got of it still but saying that this in the new catalogue there isn't really a paper I've seen I liked. Liked enough to go out and buy it. The Sailor Way paper is quite nice, very masculine. Um, what other one did I see? The paper to go with this bird ballad. The bird. Breeze a bird. That's all right, I suppose. But I'm one of them ones that like the negative side rather than the positive side of paper. Like I think this is the negative side, whereas all them flowers is the positive side. Right, this we're going to pop up on dimensionals. This one. Messages. You're putting too much dimensionals on. Too many dimensionals. It's my card. Some people only put like two or three on a side to get a bit this size. Now I don't want it to sag. So I am going to pop that right in the middle there. nice and straight press it down no. then I'm going to glue that on there and I'm going to add a tiny dimensional to the end and that flower will sit just there, that's nice. So, just put a line of glue there. Let's make this stick up a bit. Using my pencil. On. I never put any gems on this one either. So, find me gem box. Right, this one I think needs gold. I've got some bigger gold ones here. Let's see. One there. One here. like that and I'm going to stick a silver one no I'm going to stick a gold one in there that means I must add another one um, 
Oh, actually, that looks all right. I'm not going to put another one on. I am just going to stick with the four. So, this one we're going to use clear gems. So I'll stick one in the flower. One there. One there. And one there. Let's change using a different size gem. So, there we have it. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Um, which is usually a Monday. Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.